on the left on the side, side yeah. on the right side right uh, very good and I sense that too through my fingers okay but before I make any reductions I'm gonna ask you to relax of your lips and bring them together and just gently hold it there and I'm going to use my tongue depressor here and see how far off I am so you can clearly see that the bite blocks right now are much larger the opening of the lower bite block is much larger than the vertical dimension of rest. So therefore, not only I, I need to reduce the lower bite block in terms of getting it to line up, but I also need to reduce it um, height-wise. So judging from this, I need at least three millimeters or so. Three millimeters out here translates to about one millimeter back here. So make sure we keep that, that angle in mind when we're reducing the bite block so we don't over reduce it. So I'm going to remove this bite block here, get you to relax for me a little bit. There we go. And just a quick look at the bite block while I have it here, if you can just zoom in. Notice, just like the upper one, the borders are very smooth to mimic the finished denture. There's a very good transition now between the base plate and the actual uh, periphery wax that I've established all the way here. And everything is nice and smooth. We don't want things to be rough. Or, or anything like that. Everything needs to be nice and smooth. So I'm gonna reduce the right side a little more than the left side while reducing the whole thing by about three millimeters or so, okay?